let us discuss motion of the center mass how the center mass moves if the force acts what the effect of the force on the motion of the center mass we will discuss everything in this case velocity of center mass is m1 v1 vector plus m2 v2 vector plus and so on plus m n v n vector divided by m1 plus m2 plus and so on up to m n total mass of the system if i differentiate it it is acceleration of the comb this is equal to m1 a1 vector plus m2 a2 vector plus m n a n vector divided by total mass of the system clear one very important point m1 a1 vector is total force acting on particle 1 total force means external force or internal forces internal forces the particles are exerting on each other the vector sum of all the internal forces on the system will be zero so m1 a1 vector is a net force on the one particle m2 a2 vector is net force on the second particle if we look for the entire system then these all will be sum of all the external forces and sum of all the internal forces sum of all internal forces vector sum will be zero so numerator will be net external force on the system net external force on the system divided by total mass of the system so f external net internal force is ka vector sum zero hai this is equal to total mass of the system into well acceleration of the comb so comb is only accelerated by the external forces by the internal forces acceleration comb cannot be accelerated acceleration is only by the external forces of the center mass a very very important information if f external net वैक्टर हम सभी का जीरो है इट मीन्स ए कॉम इज जीरो द मास ऑफ द सिस्टम इज नॉट जीरो एंड मास इज कॉन्स्टेंट ऑफ द सिस्टम इट मीन्स डी ओवर डी डी ऑफ वी कॉम इज जीरो इट मीन्स दैट इज velocity of center mass is constant clear if the external force net external force is zero then vcm is constant very important result if initially vcm is at rest it will remain at rest even the particles making the system are moving in different positions but vcm will remain at rest if initially it is at rest in this condition by chance one component of the external force is zero others are not zero the component in which the whichever direction of the external force is zero center mass will remain constant in that direction for example 
if f x external is zero, then velocity of the comb in x direction will be constant. If it is zero initially, it will remain at rest. Y component can change, Z can change. If initially x component is zero, it will remain zero. Similarly, in y direction and z directions. Okay. Now, when f external is zero, then v comb is constant. It means this part is constant. It means total mass of the body of the system is constant. Upper part will be constant. It means these are momentums of the particles. The vector sum of the linear moment of the system will remain constant. Under this condition, if f external is zero, then m1 v1 vector plus m2 v2 vector plus and so on plus m n v n vector is constant. It is law of conservation of linear momentum. Clear? Okay. Hello dear students. Today we will discuss about motion of the center mass, connection with the forces, over the effect of the forces on the motion of the center mass. Clear? These are two diagrams as you have seen. It is a ring, a smooth rod, length AB, AB is the string in extensive end, its length BL. It is capital M mass. From this position, it is this system is released. Then capital M mass will come down by the gravity. Ring will move along the rod, smooth rod. But in this case, how the center mass is moving, we will discuss about it. Same the problem is here. It is, it is a smooth sphere. In, it is a hollow smooth sphere. Inside it, there is a very small sphere of radius r. Radius the bigger is 6 r. When this, uh, this sphere is released from that position, it comes down and reaches to that position this side. In this case, center mass, how the behaving? We will discuss about it. The concept which will be used here, I would like to discuss separately. For example, x comb is m1 x1 plus m2 x2 divided by m1 plus m2. Two body systems suppose Galia and f external along x axis is 0 suppose. Initially velocity in x direction of the center mass of the system is 0. Then center mass will not change horizontal in x direction. It means delta x comb will be 0. Individual bodies can change their positions. m1 delta x1 plus m2 delta x2 divided by m1 plus m2. So, m1 delta x1 equal to minus m2 delta x2. So, individual bodies will change their position according to this law. In two body systems, let us see this result in these two situations. Clear? If you think about forces 
on this body capital mg force is acting vertically downward on the bead smooth sala system its weight will act reaction will come from the rod external force is due to gravity vertically downward by the rod vertically up so external force is vertically up or in down direction and thread will exert tension thread and uh, ring and this body is the system constituting system so tension will be considered as internal force so in this situation i can say in horizontal direction or if i take x and y axis this system in x y plane in x direction there is no force so initially the system is at rest i have hold that body here initially the system is at rest it means velocity in x direction will be zero it means center mass will not change in horizontal direction in x direction here for example let center mass of these two systems is between them suppose kar lijiye is position par hai at that position kaun it will remain at that position but it has come down its position at in this figure is here and that figure is come down it is coming down because vertical forces are acting there so it will change but horizontally in x direction there is no force so it, will, it is not changing in horizontal direction it is coming down vertically now the question is how these individual bodies will change their positions let us find displacement of the ring displacement of the ring is d when the string makes theta angle with rod d1 maan lijiye displacement of the ring in horizontal direction displacement of capital mass d2 if i apply that condition here m1 small m into delta x1 change in the x coordinate of of the body center mass of the body in this case delta x1 is d1 that is equal to m2 capital m into change in position of center mass second body d2 it is coming closer it is shifting left side so delta x2 is minus d2 so clearly m d1 equal to capital m into d2 but d1 plus d2 is equal to l minus clearly d1 plus d2 equal to l minus l cos theta so you can calculate d1 and d2 easily from this these two equations it is 1 minus cos theta clearly d1 will be equal to capital m divided by small m plus capital m into l into 1 minus cos theta and d2 will be equal to small m divided by small m plus capital m into l 1 minus cos theta so in this case how small m and capital m are changing their positions when center mass is not shifting in horizontal direction second case it is a smooth sphere placed on the horizontal surface 
this is also smooth inside it a small sphere of radius r is placed its mass is capital m it is released from this position so let us think about the forces weight acting vertically downward on this body similarly 4 mg 4 m is the mass of the bigger sphere vertically downward normal reaction vertically upward clearly in this case in horizontal direction in x direction there is no force so when there is no force in x direction velocity of the center mass in x direction is zero it means center mass will not change in x direction the same concept i am going to apply in this situation also when this sphere come to that side it will rise up to the same height because of conservation of mechanical energy clear okay when this block this sphere come to that position then bigger sphere shifts in x direction i want to find out capital is sphere is shifting how much distance in x direction okay center mass of bigger sphere and small sphere is somewhere between center of the bigger sphere and center of the small sphere near to the bigger mass it will remain in that position horizontally vertically it will come down then will go up up to the same level so center mass of the small sphere is it is 6r 5r away from the bigger sphere so it will move on the radius of 5r when it comes to that position it is shifting in x direction by 10r clearly it is 5r it is 5r 10r capital m mass sphere is shifting in negative x direction by 10r but sphere also move that side it means a small sphere is shifting towards left by 10r minus b the very important information if we keep the capital small capital bigger sphere constant the small sphere is shifting 10r distant this side because center mass does not change its position it is common center mass it is not changing its position so bigger sphere has to shift this side by d distance so capital m mass sphere will shift towards left by that much distance clear so if we apply this equation here a small m means capital m mass up to that one because is shifting left side so negative sign this equal to minus m2 bigger sphere its mass is 4m it is shifting right side x coordinate is increasing in this side this time it is d if you simplify it you will find 5 m into d equal to 10 into m into r or you can say d equal to 2r so capital is sphere will shift towards right by 2r distance clear let us take one example 
of conservation of linear momentum and uh, center mass related. It is a bigger block, capital M block, and there is a track, horizontal track of radius capital R. All the surfaces are smooth. This surface is also smooth. Capital M block can move right side or left side. There is a small M mass body. All the surfaces are smooth. This is released from that position. So it will come down and move like this. We are going to discuss about motion of capital M and small m. Clear? In this case, if I take system capital M block with track and small m body, mg is acting vertically downward, that is external force. Again, in horizontal direction, there is no external force. So, center mass will not shift in horizontal direction again and linear momentum will also be conserved in horizontal direction because there is no external force in horizontal direction or I take x axis and y axis. So, in x direction there is no force. Let us calculate speed. of a small m body when it reaches at the lowest position and by that instant what is the speed of that bigger block support is v naught and how much distance capital m block shift to this side when small m reaches at the bottom. Okay. Again, center mass will be somewhere between lowest position and that one. So, center mass will remain on this line. It may move up and down only in horizontal direction. It will not shift. Clear? A small m body moving on the radius capital R minus small r. Suppose capital M block body shifts this side by D, then a small m body will shift in this side by R minus R minus D. Because when it reaches there, it shifts r minus r if it is at rest r minus r horizontally but it goes that side it will take it back also so a small m block shift right side towards positive x direction by r minus r minus d distance so if you, if i apply m1 delta x1 equal to minus m2 delta x2 here also so we can find who will shift how much distance? Let us calculate shift by capital M mass. So, M1, suppose kare, M1 is that one small m body, M and 2 R minus R minus D, this is equal to minus, that will be minus because it, it is plus because small m shifting towards right. Capital M block shifting towards negative x direction, so its shift will be minus d because its x coordinate is decreasing. If you simplify it, you will find small d equal to small m r minus r divided by small m plus capital M. So, it is the distance by which capital M block will shift that side. Let us calculate velocity of the smaller m block when it reaches at the lowest position. Here we have to apply conservation of linear momentum in x direction. So, initially moment of the system is 0. Finally, 
फाइनल मोमेंटम मोमेंटम ऑफ द स्मॉल एम ब्लॉक स्मॉल एम बॉडी स्मॉल एम इन टू वी आई कैप माइनस कैपिटल एम इंटू वी नॉट आई कैप सो पी आई इक्वल टू पी फाइनल यू विल गेट स्मॉल एम इन टू वी इक्वल टू कैपिटल एम इन टू वी नॉट नाउ इट इज रिलेशन बिटवीन हॉरिजेंटल स्पीड ऑफ द स्मॉल एम एंड कैपिटल एम नाउ कंजर्वेशन ऑफ मैकेनिकल एनर्जी बिकॉज ऑल द सर्फेस आर स्मूथ हेयर लेटेस्ट अप्लाई कंजर्वेशन ऑफ मैकेनिकल एनर्जी लॉस ऑफ ग्रेविटेशनल पोटेंशियल द स्मॉल एम मास दैट इज एम जी इन टू आर माइनस आर गेन एंड कानेट एनर्जी ऑफ द स्मॉल एम मास हाफ स्मॉल एम वी स्क्वायर प्लस गेन एंड कानेट एनर्जी ऑफ द कैपिटल एम ब्लॉक हाफ कैपिटल एम एंड वी नॉट स्क्वायर इफ वी पुट वैल्यू ऑफ कैपिटल वी हेयर टू फाइंड वी नॉट दैट विल बी इक्वल टू हाफ स्मॉल एम कैपिटल एम वी नॉट डिवाइडेड बाई स्मॉल एम होल स्क्वायर प्लस हाफ कैपिटल एम वी नॉट स्क्वायर इफ यू सिंप्लीफाई इट यू विल गेट वी नॉट स्क्वायर इक्वल टू एम रूट ऑफ टू एंड टू जी आर माइनस आर डिवाइडेड बाय कैपिटल एम ब्रैकेट स्मॉल एम प्लस कैपिटल इट इज स्पीड ऑफ द कैपिटल एम ब्लॉक क्लियर ओके लेट एस टेक वन एग्जाम्पल फॉर कंजर्वेशन ऑफ लिनियो मोमेंटम एंड सेंट्रो मास He body is projected from this point. Mass of the body is five kilogram. Speed is twenty meter per second. At the highest point, there is explosion. In that explosion, energy is released. So whatever kinetic energy is there, in explosion, energy becomes double of that kinetic. And this breaks into two parts: four kilogram and one kilogram. at the highest level they will move with different speeds fall on the same horizontal level problem is to find distance between them clearly only mg force is acting vertically downward so center mass will not deviate it it will move as it is so center mass will move on the parabolic path as it was moving initially but these fragments will move here and there clear so let us calculate separation between them now at the highest point speed will be 20 cos 60 20 cos 60 is 10 meter per second so at highest point because internal forces explosion is taking place conservation linear momentum can be applied children think about external force is acting here mg so we cannot apply the conservation of linear momentum no it is wrong when there is explosion is there so internal impulse is acting there so at that point there is no external impulse mg cannot change momentum at a point only impulse can change so impulse of the mg is zero at highest point so impulse of the internal force is there so momentum will be conserved in this case because it is moving horizontally so in horizontal direction momentum will be 5 into 10 equal to 1 into v1 plus 4 into v2 or 50 equal to v1 plus 4 into v2 now conservation of mega energy energy at that point becomes double of the kinetic so half m into v square 10 square due to internal forces explosion 
total energy kinetic becomes this one after the explosion this will be equal to half into 1 into v 1 square plus half into 4 into v 2 square on simplifying these two equations half is cancelled it is 1000 equal to v 1 square plus 4 v 2 square from 1 and 2 from 1 and 2 you will find after solving v 1 is 30 v 2 is 5 or v 1 is minus 10 v 2 is 15 means both are moving in same direction 30 and 5 5 the speed of the 4 kilogram block 30 is the speed of 1 kilogram spot at that point if they move in opposite direction then 1 kilogram block go back by 10 v2 moves forward by 15 but center mass will continue to move on the same one clear now let us find separation between them now you can find relative velocity separation in horizontal direction along x direction this equal to v relative 25 v relative again 25 into time taken time taken will be same half of the time of flight so that is ten sin sixty in this case. That is equal to twenty five by two into root three meter. Clear?